Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good so news of the gospel. Divided. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our service tonight. We hope you can stay tuned because I'm sure that you're going to be blessed because that if we're looking to the Lord for a blessing or an answer to some of our prayers, well, He's always there for us. That's a great thing about it. So we welcome each of you, especially our sick and shut-ins and the ones that are in the hospitals and the prisons and so forth. We want you to know the Lord loves you. He, he hasn't changed your circumstances. Mine has, but but not the Lord. That is the good thing that we can say. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so uh, just stay tuned and we'll uh, just have church together here. We want to read um, a psalm about, a, it's a prayer of a humble trust. You know, we're supposed, when we come before the Lord to humble ourselves, He doesn't want us uh, being bragging about anything or feeling like we do things it, no if the Lord's not in it it's not worth anything so Psalms 130 out of the depths have I cried unto thee O Lord hear Lord hear my prayer, voice let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications if thou Lord shouldest mark iniquities O Lord who should stand but there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in the, his word do I trust. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, with the, uh, who, with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all of his iniquities. Just letting us know that we, we need to humble ourselves when we come to him. And uh, he said, if, uh, uh, you know, there's forgiveness for our sins. And we've got to remember that. And you know now, the people, people make, mis everybody makes mistakes. There's a difference between mistakes and sin. Sin is a willful transgression against God. Mistakes is poor judgment sometimes. It's no, no sin involved. But then uh, we, whatever it is that we need to have cleaned up in our life, I'm glad that we can go to the Lord and He will do it. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because... That there is plenty of mercy with you, and so we thank you that you, you don't just sort out and pick out what we, you're going to forgive us of and let the rest go. But Lord, I thank you that you forgive and you restore, and you assure us of your love on a daily basis. So tonight, those that are feeling unloved and unwanted and unnecessary lord we ask you to cheer them up send some encouragement their way help them to know that life is not always as bad as it might have been today but there's good things in life and so bless these people with the hope and with the belief in you that you're going to be with them you're going to restore their health or marriage or whatever it is that's troubling them so bless each person that has joined us. Bless our guests, our phone operators. And Lord, we just give you this service and we want you to bless our people in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, tonight we have uh, 
as uh, if you get our newsletter, uh, we have had a couple of cancellations, but we're so happy for those people that are always available and ready to help us in these times of when we when we really need somebody at the last minute when someone gets sick. So tonight we have as our guests Neth Jones and Mike Sexton from uh, over around Mount Sterling. And uh, so uh, let's welcome them right now. And uh, if you, uh, we have phone operators. If you need to call, if you have a praise report, this is Thanksgiving week. And uh, so if you have something you want to call about, well, that'll be fine. So uh, uh, just before we switch to the music, we want to say happy anniversary to a special couple, Richard and Joyce Hampton, been married 54 years. 54 years, Richard and Joyce, so congratulations there. All right, let's go over to uh, uh, Neth and Mike and uh, Don's over there, so let's go for some music. In this world, we have our troubles, sometimes long, sometimes blue, but the hope of life eternal makes all. I don't want to get adjusted to this world, to this world. I've got a home that's so much better. I'm going to go there sooner or later. And I don't want to get adjusted. To this world Lord I'm growing old and weary There's no place that feels like home Jesus come my soul to bury I don't want to get adjusted to this world, to this world. I've got a home that's so much better. I'm going to go there sooner or later. I don't want to get adjusted. To this world Lord I'm longing for the coming of my Savior Lord and King seems I hear my loved ones singing a new song I'd like to sing and I don't want to get adjusted to this world to this world cause I've got a home that's so much better I'm gonna go I've got a home that's so much better I'm gonna go there sooner or later And I don't want to get adjusted to this world No, I don't want to get adjusted 
just it to this world. Now people talk about me for this life that I have chosen. They say I'm not that same old man that they used to know. God has made a difference. You can tell it when you look. For I have met the author. My name is in the book. Somewhere in the pages You will find my name It's written down forever And it cannot be changed Money did not buy it His blood is what it took I have met the author My name is in the book Folks look at me strangely from the man that they once knew. Now that I don't walk or talk or act like I used to, God made me a new creature. You can tell it when you look. Yes, I have met the author. My name is in the book. Because somewhere in the pages, you will find my name it's written down forever and it cannot be changed money did not buy it his blood is what it took i have met the author my name is in the book somewhere in the pages you will find it's written down forever, and it cannot be changed. Money did not buy it, his blood is what it took. I have met the author, my name is in the book. Yes, I have met the author, my name is in the book. It's a good thing it didn't cost money because I wouldn't have had a shot in this world. I was thinking today, you know, it's, uh, you think a lot when you get old like I am about childhood days. And, and uh, when I was young growing up, I didn't realize just how little we did have. We didn't have nothing monetary-wise, but we had love in the family. Amen. That's all we had. And I had a praying mom. There are so many people that say it was not so. Jesus never came to die or walk this world. Savior there There were three nails In his hands and feet And a crown of thorns to wear There was more love Than I've ever known His gave his life for me There was a hill There was a cross And a place called Calvary
There's still so many people that say it's just a tale, a story made from fiction, put together oh so well. But friend, I am living proof. Each time you look at me, you know there was a hill and there was a cross and a place called Calvary. There was a hill, there was a cross that held my Savior there. There were three nails in his hands and feet and a crown of thorns to wear there was more love than i've ever known he gave his life for me there was a hill there was a cross and a place called calvary There was a hill, there was a cross, and a place called Calvary. It's good to be back down here. Uh, glad my brother Mike Sexton was able to come back down again. And uh, brother Don back here. It's always good to have brother Don. And I would encourage you that if you need prayer to call in, there's several upstairs that'll pray with you tonight. I stood in the courtroom, the judge turned my way. Looks like you're guilty. What do you say? I spoke up, Your Honor. I have no defense. But that's when mercy walked in. Mercy walked in. Pleaded my case, called to the stand, God saving grace. The blood was presented that covered my sin, forgiven when mercy walked in. Stood there in wonder. How could this be? That someone so guilty had just been set free. My chains were broken. I felt born again. That moment. Mercy walked in, mercy walked in, pleaded my case, called to the stain, God saving grace, the blood was presented, the cup Given when mercy walked in, the blood was presented that covered my sin. Forgiven when mercy walked.
that second verse. I stood there and wondered, how could this be? That someone so guilty, Ned, mm-hmm. had just been set free. There wasn't, just like you said, we couldn't buy it. I sure wasn't born into it. There's nothing. And a lot of people will say, well, I'm not a sinner. If we've broken one of the Ten Commandments and everybody, everybody lied when they was a kid, we're guilty of that. And, and so we'd hold up and say, well, I, I, I'm better than, but the Bible says our rag is, our righteousness is as filthy rags. Mm-hmm. And when you find out what those filthy rags, that's the rags that they bound lepers with. And so they were full of nasty flesh. I'm not trying to be gross, but maggots and flies and everything that goes that went stench. Rotted pieces of flesh in there. And, I, and as detestable as that is, that's what our righteousness is to God. And he just said, I love you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set you free for nothing. And so I'm just humbled and awed. Mm-hmm. Amen. And if you're not a Christian this evening, I want you to understand that God loves you. He doesn't, and he, he doesn't love your sin. But that's why he sent his son, that you could have that forgiveness so what, what's going on inside of here right now where you are respond to that call amen, amen. shutting up i'm sorry oh i was on the mountain wandering from the fountain when i heard my savior speak to me He said, come to me, relenting of your sins, repenting, and I will lead you out where you can see, and I'm so glad he arms around me then he led me to the shelter now I'm one of his own and
Yes, I walk those streets paved with gold. There are some we cannot tell whether we are saved or whether all is well. They say we can only hope and trust that it is so. But I was there when it happened, so I guess I ought to know. Yes, I know when Jesus saved me, that moment he forgave me, took away my burdens, Lord, he gave me peace within. Satan can't make me doubt it, thrilling I'm going to shout it. cannot be those heavy burdens lifted and the vile sins go I was there when it happened so I guess I ought to know yes I know when Jesus saved me that moment he forgave me took away my burden Within. Satan can't make me doubt it. Really, I'm gonna shout it. I was there when it happened, so I guess I ought to know. Cause I was there when it happened, so I guess I. I started out with a made-up mind The one day across the finish line I'm pressing toward the mark and for the prize At times I've had to thin my ground Satan's tried to turn me around But I will not be hindered by his lies I'm not gonna walk away I've got too much at stake And I've come too far to turn back now Every battle that I have fought Will soon be forgotten I'm treating this old cross in I can hear the angels cheer me on And see the ones that have reached home They now all wait for us to win the fray A banquet like we've never known Will be held at God's royal throne And there we'll be rewarded for our faith I'm not gonna walk 
see now for 70 80 90 100 years are just going to be just a glimpse brother one day we're going to be spending eternity mm -hmm. in the presence of god Amen. there'd be no more sickness no more death no more funeral homes no more hospitals no mortuaries it's all going to be good and it'll go on and on and on and so the struggles that we have here, like this song says, they're going to pass away. We won't even remember them. That's right. It's, and it's going to be worth it after Amen. all. Amen. No matter what troubles we go through here. Now who can speak to the cripple? They'll stand right up and walk. Who can cause the deaf and dumb? Hear and start to talk. Who can calm a fevered brow by saying, Let it be with a little bit of clay? Touch them in a way that blinded eyes can see. I'm telling you, he can. And I know that he'll stand right by your side when the world starts. There ain't no one ever done what he's done Cause he laid down his life, he rose and lives again What can cause an old man that's about to say goodbye To lift up both his dying hands and wipe a tear from his eyes with his loved ones gathered all around him He can smile and say don't fear For the one that brought me through the storm Gonna lead me on from here I'm telling you he can I know that he'll stand Right by your side When the world starts crumbling in Cause there ain't Never done what he's done Cause he laid down his life He rose and lives again I'm telling you he can And I know that he'll stand Right by your side When the world starts crumbling in Cause there ain't no one Ever done what Cause he laid down his life, he rose and lived again. No, it don't matter what you're going through, what you're facing right now. He is the answer to whatever it is, whatever your problems is. answer is on the way just you know the bible teaches that if you believe that you receive you shall have that that you ask for and that's part of this this is when you believe that you receive that means the answer is on the way it's it can't be stopped by nobody but you because he's done sent it oh yes the answer's on this I know Jesus said it I believe it And it's so Our Heavenly Father Knows our needs Before we pray And we can rest To show the answers On the way Yes the answer's on the way 
This I know Jesus said it And I believe it And it's so Our Heavenly Father Knows our need Before we pray And we can rest assured The answer is on the way Many times I bowed beneath a heavy load And on bended knees to God a prayer I'd pray And as I knelt there on the floor He'd remind me just once more That the answer is already on the way Yes, the answer's on the way This I know Jesus said it I believe it And it's so Our Heavenly Father Knows our need Before we pray And we can rest assured The answer is on There's a special need within your life, my friend. And you're seeking for an answer every day. If by faith you'll start believing, pretty soon you'll be receiving. Cause the answer is already on the way. Yes, the answer's on the way This I know Jesus said it And I believe it And it's so Our Heavenly Father Knows our need Before we pray And we can rest assured The answer is on And we can rest assured The answer is on the way I have no silver and no gold, no earthly mansion do I own, but I have peace, wonderful peace down in my soul. I have no fear what man can do, the Lord I serve. Will take me through some day, some wonderful day. I'm going home. I'm going home someday to a city far away. Friends and love.
wonderful day I'm going home I'm going home someday To a city far away Friends and loved ones Will be waiting on that show The pearly
if you haven't called in and but you feel the urge to please go ahead they're still upstairs taking prayer request we're like a lamb left to the slaughter jesus never opened his mouth from the trial to the crucifixion to the grave he was laid out after three days in the garden tomb, I can hear the angels sing. As the lamb came forth, as a lion, and the lion became the king. You won't find him again at the whipping post, standing there so meek. And he won't be nailed to a rugged cross, through his hands and through his feet. No, there'll never be another cavalry Cause he don't have to prove one thing That day the lamb became the lion And the lion became the king Now Jesus left his splendor To live on earth with man But the most he was rejected Cause he came forth as a lamb but the day is soon approaching that every eye shall see all the lamb the lion of old judah has been crowned the king of kings you won't find him again at the whipping post standing there so me and he won't be nailed to a rugged cross through his hands and through his feet No, there'll never be another cavalry Cause he don't have to prove one thing That day the lamb became the lion And the lion became the king You won't find him again at the whipping post Standing there so meek and he won't be nailed to a rugged cross Through his hands and through his feet No, there'll never be another cavalry Cause he don't have to prove one thing That day the lamb became the lion And the lion became the king That day the lamb became the lion And the lion became the king All right, thank you so much, Neth Jones and Mike Sexton tonight for our singing guests. We appreciate them coming. And the phone number there is 859-749-6392. And uh, so I believe that's Neth's number. Well, we have a number of calls. Silas and his family, Silas a Sailor from McGulfin County, <clears throat> said they're really enjoying the singing tonight. And Jack and Irma from Frenchburg, they appreciate uh, the program and they pray for the Arab Harvest all the time, watch us all along. And it's Jack and Irma's um, 63rd wedding anniversary. 63. Well, Richard and Joyce, that's got you beat. They, they've just been married 54 years. So, all right, Minnie, Isabel, from Menifee County, uh, calling in $50 in honor of Pastor Mike Sexton and his good friend, Neth Jones. All right. Uh, Tammy from McGuff from uh, Montgomery County, very sick with the flu. And her uh, baby is due in January, several family members real sick. A caller has uh, needs prayer, also has a friend that's real sick. Louise wants to pray for a baby that's uh, not here yet, but uh, soon will be, and want to pray that it'll be healthy. Uh, yes, we've been doing the same thing. I got another great great grandbaby on the way. Uh, Jean from Morgan County in the hospital. David from Somerset is on life support. Keith, uh, it just doesn't say what city they're from, and James and James and Cora, and. Uh, Okay, there's another for Jean, Tony from Pale, 
uh, Phyllis and uh, Mikey from uh, uh, London. Anita has called a man from Clay City, physical pains, and uh, 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 I guess that's Terry and his family. Grandma from uh, Powell County needs prayer for a granddaughter that's uh, going to have heart surgery on Wednesday. Ina Smith from Clay uh, has uh, is a breast uh, cancer survivor. Teresa uh, has her for her brother that has leukemia. Juanita for her family. Betty from Fayette County for her uh, pray for her. Uh, okay, nieces, nephews, they're all traveling over the holidays and want safety. Wayne from Knox County. Thelma from Madison County, Gladys from Jackson, uh, prayer for her daughter. Jerry needs prayers and a lot of pain. Uh, Jeremy from Fayette County, a friend that needs prayer. Linda from Laurel uh, for her daughter, the Campbell family uh, from uh, Perry County. All right, this is our uh, this is our call. So let's go over and visit with. Uh, these two, and so let's see what uh, how what they've been doing for the Lord, what they want to uh, bring us up uh, uh, to date. Uh, uh, Neth, what uh, how's the Every, everything's been going good. Uh, church seems to be growing, and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially the, the the children's Sunday school class that uh, really is is booming mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know I, I don't understand everything but we've got people that's drive an hour and a half to just get to church oh, okay. one way you know and and that's that's a, a a desire to go when you're when you're driving that much you're putting that many miles on a vehicle especially the price of gas right now that mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that means a lot and uh, it's it's going to take that desire. Uh, if if we don't have that desire, we're really lacking. We we need yes. a desire to do what uh, work we can for God. Uh, there's a lot of people out there, a lot of lost that's needing to be reached. A lot of, be, a lot of them need to be touched. Uh, a lot of people need to be healed. Uh, yeah. And there's there's a lot of work for us out there to do if mm -hmm. we'll just reach out and do it. Yes, yes. Well, uh, well, you know, it's we need this. Revival to sweep the land where yes. after COVID came along, so many people just kind of act like the Lord wasn't important anymore. Yes, that's right. But it's always good to hear when they're showing interest in, in yes. the Lord and His work. So that's that's good. Okay, Mike, what's uh, with with your situation? Well, I, I pastor Frenchburg First Church of God. We have a church there on Back Street. Uh, I'd say something that's really exciting going on in our church is, of course, we just sent off our Operation Christmas Child boxes, and that's uh, something very important in outreach. But we also have a, what we call a center shop ministry. Uh, Matthew's Archery Company uh, created a curriculum to introduce people, young people to the Lord through archery. And we have that. You, you ought to come out sometime and just see uh, these kids shooting archery and the the growth that they occur through that. So that's something that's really exciting going on in, in our, our congregation. And uh, we're, we're there in Menifee County. Come on and out and visit us. We'd love to get acquainted with you. All right. We've had more calls come in here. Uh, Lexi from Montgomery for, uh, for herself and her husband has the shingles. And she has, uh, she has cancer. Well, those shingles, oh, I hear more coming. Uh, okay, uh, Frances from Lincoln County for herself and her daughter. A lot of physical needs and uh, taking care of a little handicapped child. But since you love the music tonight, Cindy uh, needs prayer for a bad headache. I think this, this kind of weather. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, now she she got with it and brought it to me. I didn't have to wait for Pony Express. <laughs> uh, Brenda from West Liberty for her family and Judy from uh, Laurel County. All right, there's lots of people needing help, and it is so important to get prayers of agreement. 
it is so powerful to do that. And so uh, uh, we're going to ask these two uh, people if they will uh, anoint these and and pray. And uh, uh, if your name is in this and you uh, you're believing God, well, I'm well, sure that we all know. are here. Yeah. And many there's untold numbers of people that pray with us every night. That's why Amen. I love to yeah, share it because we've been told that some of these people, when they can't sleep at night, then they hear some of the requests that we've had and they get a burden and they start praying for that one that's had cancer or shingles or a heart attack or whatever. They get a burden and so they know how to pray for you. And so there's untold number of prayers that go up just because that we share this. So you'll go ahead and lead us in prayer for that. Lord, as we come in in prayer at this time, Father, we just pray that you would just be with these needs. God, the lost would look at this and say, such a waste of time. But, Father, we're not talking to the floor this evening. Lord, our prayers is not hitting the floor and bouncing up. Lord, they are going straight to you in heaven. And we thank you for that. Your scripture tells us to pray. It tells us that they are sick and afflicted among you. Uh, anoint with oil and the prayer of faith will make them whole. We know that when... Uh, Peter walked the streets of Jerusalem, uh, his shadow, his, they anointed handkerchiefs and they uh, sent them out. And Father, these are representative of that. So God, we pray by faith, Lord, believing that you can answer and address each and every one of these concerns, Father. Lord, no doubt many upon our hearts, many that were not even called in, Father. We pray that you would go to them and you would have touched the need. But Father, the greatest need that we have this evening, Lord, is not for any sickness, not for any affliction, but, Lord, for sin. And, Father, we want to lift that up. God, touch the body, but, Lord, most importantly, Father, we pray that you would touch the soul. That we know that when a sickness occurs, when people can't get out to church, Father, that they suffer. So we just pray that you would be with all these requests, Lord, each and every one. And, Father, we'll trust you for it. And, Lord, we pray that you would get praise for it, too. Now, God, we love you and we thank you. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Okay, we are out of time, it looks like. So from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.